Okay, hi. This is my third time trying to film this because the first time I didn't have anything written down. The second time I didn't have anything written down. The third time I have written down and crossed over. Because he asked me of a recipe and the thing about this recipe is you don't really need a recipe. You sort of do whatever you feel like. But there are some ingredients I want you to have. And it's a Swedish sandwich cake that I'm asking you to cook. Or not really cook because you don't really need to cook anything except the eggs, maybe. Anyway, I have written down the ingredients now. I have translated them to English. And you probably won't have all the stuff. So I have some variations. Not many, but a few. First you need three white slices of bread, preferably very big slices, like this big, not this big. Then you need mayonnaise and butter to butter and mayonnaise the sandwich. S. Then in the middle of it, there are two layers, and for those two layers, you can have either liver pate and pickles, or you can have ham and cheese and not no, no, no stupid cheddar cheese or something like that just normal regular cheese that you get from cows you get all cheese from cows but still almost all of them just get cow cheese and you can also have mimosa salad and you probably won't be able to buy mimosa salad so I will give you a recipe that is down there and I will hopefully have translated it to English in a good enough way so that you will understand what the hell I just wrote and what the hell you need to buy. Okay, for the sides you're supposed to butter and mayonnaise them too. Mostly mayonnaise them because mayonnaise is easier. And for the love of God, please do not use, I can't believe it's not butter or anything, use real regular butter. You need this to be Swedish, not Stupid. Yes, so when you have mayonnaise the sides, you put lettuce on the sides. And on the sides you can also have toothpicks and put something on the toothpick. Like a cherry tomato, olives or a grape. Whatever you prefer, it doesn't really matter. And put them around the sides, not with some distance in between. And then there's the top. On the top you put this sort of layer of mayonnaise and butter, whatever you want and you can have cheese and roll up each up and put it sort of in places around the, around the edge you can also have tomatoes and put it around the edge sort of, you know, sliced tomatoes in sort of this fashion, not this fashion and you can also have cucumbers that you put on the side too. Then you can have shrimp and egg in the sort of middle. And that's about it actually. You can put something cool in the middle too, some sort of in some sort of pattern. That is awesome. And this is the worst recipe ever, so I'm going to write everything down there. And I will just have wasted your time. But yeah, when you asked me this, I sort of thought, I have about three favorite things to eat. And that's sushi, tacos, and Swedish sandwich cake. And tacos, you probably eat. There's nothing special about that. I didn't, I wanted it to be something special. Also, if you don't like sushi, it is really expensive and you get loads and loads of sushi when you try to make it yourself. So, no, that isn't viable either. So, hmm, yes, this sounds good. I'll make her do this. So, yay! And if you can't find sort of big bread sizes, it's okay. Just make sure you don't have the crusts and make many small ones. It's awesome. There are many different variations on sandwich cake, but this is the one my family and me usually make. 
And a tip is to not overdo it with the butter and mayonnaise. It's supposed to be there, but don't add like a real thick layer on it. Just a normal, medium layer. And also I made a video when I bake, uh, what did I call it? Swedish chocolate mud brownie cake, something or other. I just mashed together all the English names for it. Um, so I will probably edit that and you will get it sometime this week. So you can bake it yourself. Well, if I remember anything else about the recipe, you will get it in the description again. And now to your question, which I haven't thought of again. Oh, wait, I did think of something. Uh, this is if you have finished Mass Effect 3, because I want to know what did you think of the ending? And if you haven't finished Mass Effect 3, then... Oops. Maybe something along the lines, have you ever gone hiking? Have you gone on a picnic? No, that's a stupid question. Disregard that. Yes, I saw my Pokeball. Pokeball! Which it says Pokemon on. And my question to you is... What's your favorite Pokemon? And why? You have to give a reason why or else this will be a really short answer. And if you don't like Pokemon, shame on you. Shame on you. Anyway, those are my questions. If you can't answer the first, then answer the second. If you can answer both, then answer both if you want to. You don't have to give a very long answer on your favorite Pokemon if you can answer the first question. And if you can't answer the second question and you can't answer the first question, then I don't know. Figure something out. Make a special video. And I forgot again.